I believe three things make a Rococo painting a Rococo painting. One, ornaments. In this painting, you can see an ornament right there. You can see there's also an or ornament right next to the girl's foot right there, but you can't really see it. Two. Second point is um, the love, nature, playfulness, atmosphere in the painting. You can see that a lot in this painting. You can see the nature behind the girl swinging. There's also a man here where she's kicking her shoe at. So that's playfulness, love, her husband in the back. Or someone that clearly loves her is pushing her on the swing. Three. S lines. So all the lines that are shaped like S's, they all show motion. You can see them in the dress and the ropes and the nature, even in the rope the guy's holding in the back, everywhere. I believe just those three points would be the theme or the model behind Rococo style paintings. They just, they basically cover most paintings. Thank you. Main ideas that represent Rococo. Hedonism is a keyword defined as a pursuit of pleasure. This painting is a great representation of hedonism. Here you can see the woman is enjoying herself on the swing and her shoe is even off. She is definitely seeking pleasure. Another main idea that represents a Rococo is extravagance. Extravagance was especially showed in fashion. Here's a perfect example. The woman has crazy sleeves and a puffy dress. Overall, her style is extravagant. Here's another example as she is wearing a very showy dress. Another major idea is love. Here's an example of love in the Rococo. Back to this painting, you can see Cupid on the very left, a man hiding in the bushes, and then another man who is pulling her on the swing. It seems that both of these men are in love with her and that she is in a love triangle. With hedonism, extravagance, and love, that ends it for the main ideas in Rococo era. Here are some things you should know about the Rococo culture. It originated in France and made its influence all throughout Europe. Everything was about extravagance. Literally, the bigger the better. Here we have the Hall of Mirrors at the Palace of Versailles. Rococo culture was basically the original Treat Yourself, also known as hedonism, which can be greatly depicted by this painting called House of Cards, where he's just casually building a house of cards because he wants to and it's self-indulgent. In terms of Rococo art, its characteristics are opposite of the previous era that used more heavy and serious themes and dark colors and shadows, as you can see in this painting above. Instead, paintings had a more whimsical and lighthearted feel, um, such as this one out here, which is depicting Fetes Galante, which is basically just people depicted in a party outside. Overall, the Rococo era had a huge impact throughout history, and its influence can even be seen today in our fashion and art and even movies. This is a triumph of Venus. Um, the artist behind this was Boucher. He was one of the greatest artists of the Rococo era. Right there, you can see where Venus emerges from the sea. Venus was the goddess of love, and as you can see, when she emerges from the sea, she's just surrounded by all these admirers. That emphasizes the hedonism behind the painting, by the way. Just the painting as a whole is a perfect archetype for the Rococo style. All the way from the mythological subject that's imbued with eroticism. Almost everything in the painting just screams Rococo era. From the cool colors that were used, the dynamic of the painting, the composition of the painting, even the pyramidal structure in the painting, the motion that's shown in the painting, even the setting of the painting, like the nature and the unrealistic seascape, that's just all Rococo, the nature behind it, everything. Thank you.